What's up guys, it's Emma from Array Citizens here and today we're taking a look at Numskull Design's Quarter Arcade Pac-Man One Quarter Scale Arcade Cabinet. Numskull Designs took the original 1980s Pac-Man arcade cabinet and has shrunken it down to a size that most people can fit in their home. Whether you're looking to dominate the leaderboard or just want it as a display piece, the Quarter Arcade's Pac-Man One Quarter Scale Arcade Cabinet is a neat little piece that wouldn't look out of place in any gamer's collection. Authenticity comes at a price though, so if this looks like something you might be interested in, be prepared to shell out £149.99. About two weeks ago, we attended an event where we had a chance to see Numskull Design's latest creation. You probably know Numskull for their gaming apparel, but it appears that the company are now branching into new products. Numskull has teamed up with Bandai Namco to create this miniature cabinet. We tried playing on the cabinet for around 20 minutes or so, and as you can imagine, playing any game on this mini cabinet would be somewhat awkward. Fortunately, Pac-Man only uses the joystick for movement, so it isn't too difficult to find a comfortable position to play in. The screen is quite small and the viewing angles aren't great, but as you'll be standing directly over the cabinet when using it, neither of these factors will have a negative effect on your experience. Spectators might have some trouble watching the gameplay, but we can't say we expected anything different to this considering the size of the cabinet. You won't need to leave this cabinet plugged in directly to the mains as it's powered entirely using a built-in rechargeable lithium battery. By using the included micro USB cable, you can charge up the cabinet for hours of continuous play. While we don't know the exact capacity of the cabinet's battery, we can assume you should be able to play for a long period of time, as the internals aren't power hungry. Those looking for the perfect 1980s Pac-Man experience will be pleased to know that this cabinet features a bespoke emulator running the original arcade ROM. There are some slight changes to the startup screens, however the game itself is as authentic as you can get. If you're seriously considering paying £150 for this cabinet, chances are you're not looking to play Pac-Man for the thousandth time. Having the ability to play Pac-Man on this cabinet is a secondary feature. The main reason that you'll likely purchase this item is for its aesthetics. This is an exact replica of the original, right down to the artwork, shape and the wooden shell. At one quarter of the scale of the original Pac-Man cabinets, you'll want a relatively large display case for this piece. That said, it isn't too heavy as its wooden shell is reasonably lightweight, making it ideal for placing on a shelf. These cabinets are being released as a collector's edition, meaning that only 10,000 of these will be manufactured. In addition, the cabinet will rival an exclusive Pac-Man coin, which is a nice little touch for those who love Pac-Man memorabilia. Even the packaging is being nicely designed to make it worth placing next to the actual cabinet on the shelf or in a display case. Considering the high price point, it's understandable that this cabinet will not be for everyone. We like Pac-Man, but let's be honest, we don't like it that much. The concept overall is very cool, and if Numskull decide to pick a game that was a personal favourite of ours, then there's a chance we'd be sold on something like this. Though the one quarter size does limit Numskull's options when it comes to include anything with several buttons alongside a joystick. Speaking of which, if Pac-Man isn't necessarily your cup of tea, you'll still want to keep an eye on Numskull designs for the foreseeable future. This cabinet is the first in a series of quarter arcade exclusives, so expect to see more classic arcade games rolling out on these one quarter scale cabinets soon. Thanks for checking out our video, please leave any questions or comments in the section below and remember to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Drop us a sub if you haven't already and we'll see you in our next video or stream.